Hi, I'm Sherry with Grace Monroe Home, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy bow. This bow is going to be great for decorating a wreath, or you could use it on a package or a lamppost or anything. This is going to be a Christmas bow, but you could do this exact same thing for any kind of bow. Now, I've got three ribbons here. I've got one that's a four inch and that two and two that are one and a half inch. You can use uh, a two and a half inch instead of the four if you wanted to, but I love this ribbon, so I was going to use that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide how long my tail is going to be, and this one's going to be about 12 inches long, and I have already dovetailed the ends of both, both sides of my ribbon, and to do that, I just fold it in the middle just like that, take my scissors, and I start at the corner here and then just go up just like that. And it will make the pretty dovetail for your ends. Now, what I'm gonna do first is, like I said, I'm gonna make this about 12 inch tail. So I'm gonna just kind of guess at it, but I'm gonna pinch right in there. Just pinch it all together between my thumb and my finger, just like this. Now I'm going to make a loop and you see I've got it facing me just like this and I'm gonna make a loop and pinch it and I'm gonna make a loop I would say that's about a three and a half inch loop or so now you don't have to measure just do it to your liking whatever size you want your bow to be and then I'm going to twist my ribbon in my hands, this ribbon has a pretty side and a not so pretty side. So I'm gonna twist it so that the not so pretty side is facing up. And then I'm gonna just make another loop just like this and pinch all of it in my hand, just like that. And I'm gonna turn this tail so that it's facing, the pretty side is facing forward now, I want to make sure that these are about the same size, so I just bring them forward just like this, just to make sure. Now, once I get that, and we'll fluff out the bow after we finish. So, now I'm just going to take my one and a half inch, and I want to start around the back of my bow, just like this. So, you see I've got it on the back, and then I just kind of throw it over so that this tail is on top of the one that I already made, just like that. And then I'm just gonna pinch it between my fingers, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring this around to the front and I'm gonna twist it so that the side that's not so pretty is facing up. And I'm gonna make my loop just like that. And I want this one to be just a little bit smaller or shorter than the one behind it. So I'm gonna pull it out and get it just like I want it. So I think that's that will be good. Maybe just a little shorter, there we go. Now you see I've got it like this. So I'm going to twist it so that the side that's not so pretty is facing up, and then I'm going to make my loop just like this. And I'm gonna bring those two forward to make sure they're about the same size. And then it ends up just like this. Okay, so now I've got one more, and you can stack these. Uh, I usually do about three ribbons for this kind of bow. Uh, you could do four if you wanted to, but now you've got to think about how much you're gonna be able to hold. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before. I start at the back of my bow, lay this over, and I wanna make the tail about as long as the other tails, and then pinch it with my first finger, just like that. And if you need to bring it down, you can just kinda let up on your finger a little bit and bring it down. And then I'm going to 
turn it and make my loop just like that and bring it between my fingers. Now this one I want even smaller than the one in front of it. So I'm going to check that and make sure that's just like I want it. And then I'm going to twist it so that the side that's not pretty is facing up and make my loop just like that. Now I want to make sure that these two are the same size and I need to let up just a little bit with my finger so that I can pull out a little bit more because that side was a little short. But now I've got those even. And so I've got my tails facing the right way and I've got all of my stack in between my two fingers. So now I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to run it under my hand like that, bring it to where my fingers are, and then just kind of let up and pinch it. Again, you just got to kind of hold it tight while at the same time putting your pipe cleaner through all of that to the back. And then once I get it on the back, I lay it down just like this take my two pipe cleaners and then just twist them really tight. Just twist them as tight as you can get them three or four times. And this is what I've got. So now I'm going to fluff my bow by just pulling out my loops just like this. and straightening them out. And if any of them are need to be straightened a little bit, you can pull, pull your ribbon a little and straighten it out. And then straighten my middle too. Make sure all of my tails are forward, just like I want them. And then I've got my pretty bow. Isn't that pretty and very, very easy? So again, you just take one, do your first one, first layer, make sure you get those loops the size that you want, and then put the one by starting at the back of your hand, lay it over, and then pinch it just like we just did, and then do the same movements every time. And you will make a beautiful bow like this too. And this is a great bow. Like I said, you could put it on a package if you wanted to. You could put it on a wreath or a garland or even a lamppost. So I hope that you will try this easy DIY bow. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to click the little bell so you get notified when we release new videos. We try to do that pretty often so you don't want to miss anything. And thank you so much. I hope that you have a blessed day.